Let's get into this loser semis here. JTJ versus Nile. Also, once again, what I want to say before we start this match here, big shoutouts to Red Bull, specifically for partnering up with 2GG with an upcoming event. If you guys want to know more, follow at 2G Gaming on their official Twitter shouts to Raging Chariot for this great, great opportunity here between 2GG and Red Bull partnering up yet again. Let's get right yeah. into it here. Yeah, I want to see how uh, JTJ approaches this matchup. It's going to be a lot of Whirling Fortress, I feel. Oh, let me get this jab reset. Ooh. Really good stuff. Oh my goodness. Down there? No, he didn't go for it. Oh my. Oh my god. The pressure, dude. <laughs> was like, get it off of me, man. You're not ready for all this aggression, I can tell. That's that's the crazy thing, too. Like, Bowser's just a big hurtbox here. Like, the Ken Doss's combo. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> he almost just got obliterated, man. Now, if there's any matchup that might make JTJ switch to the Palu or Mario, it, it's this one. It's, yeah, I was going to say, man. Yeah, so switch, please. We'll see, though, man. It's still game one here. He's got a chance to possibly make a comeback here because a couple calls. JTJ was definitely showing that off with against his previous opponent. Nice, sure you can through the ledge to get past the flame breath. Good, excellent parry there, you missed the grab. Oh, I actually like that uh, cancel af after his back air on shield got parried. His uh, short you can was really safe oh, right no. there. I don't know what JTJ's doing anymore. My man's definitely just Bowser bombed like into the blast zone. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what he was aiming for. He was nowhere close to the ledge. But we finally get the four there. Still stocked down against Ken in this matchup. Kind of rough because you are combo food. Look at Mal. He's going for the downer every time. Yeah, and Helvet said it best in the chat, man. You want to camp out Ken as much as possible. Oh, Never my mind. God. Never get mind. JV2 stock. Get that Bowser out of here. Weak down air to down air comboing. Kind of disgusting, not going to lie. I mentioned Jeez. it earlier, he's just a big hurt box. And for Ken, it's Combo City, man. Yeah, this guy, I don't know. Mal might be looking at this matchup like, hey, what was that that combo I was practicing training mode this morning? Yeah, let's see if it works. <laughs> yeah, let's it see if probably, it works. Yeah. It probably works on this every, character. Every Twitter combo, training mode combo just works on Bowser. Like, it's in, like, if you didn't think it worked, it works for sure in this matchup here. But like Stride said, JTJ might want to have to pull a fast one here and put the Bowser on the bench. Yeah, swap, yeah, swap the power. Yeah, 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 yeah. Much better matchup. Of course, it's a better matchup, but not guaranteed win by any <laughs> means. Mal is very, very good, as you uh, see. But yeah, definitely Palo is really good for this uh, matchup. Great edge guard potential, multi hit aerials. So it's really difficult for Ken to disadvantage if he gets hit. Also has a decent projectile as well. Pretty much has it all, to be honest. I'm just gonna say, like, you know, she's very good, but also very common. So most good players know the matchup for their yeah. character, Alu. It's it's like I tell you, but if you're playing melee, you better learn what the boss matchup is. Palutena definitely demonstrates it, but if you play ultimate, you gotta learn. Ooh, Ooh this is big. Oh, oh he, he messed, messed up. It doesn't matter though. Let me just get this easy confirm. I I feel like JTJ kind of like got comfortable because he didn't die to the focus combo, and then <laughs> he let down his guard just long enough to get caught by that. And oh yeah. my God, Pals, <laughs> it confirms are looking crispy right here. Oh, and he caught the teleport. Yeah, too. he caught the teleport. Uh, Cancel attempt as well. Oh nice. my gosh. You see that jump too. He wanted that downer. Excellent. Show off from now. Oh, let me get this car cancel in here real quick just in case you forgot I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> just to add to another things of you can should fear against Ken, right? The car cancel is one of them here. Great DI still surviving at 118 against explosive flame. Oh, this free is a corner carry. No, doesn't even get the tech chase though. Still good though. Oh, yeah, that's, that's back row, yeah. Yeah, got, he wanted to go for a tech chase with the focus there. He's even beta roll in JTJ, but didn't fall for it. Nice. Some nair strings here. Unfortunately, go low. Oh, of, course. of course, he goes for it. But, oh my goodness, life gets saved. JTJ's 
definitely uh, thanking Mal for that one. Yeah, that's Ooh. good too. That's so good. Just because that back air puts Mal at such a tough spot. And then coupled that with the explosive flame puts Mal at the low recovery, which is an excellent sniper for that down air. JTJ still has a lot to fight with at 117 yep. here. And that's gotta suck if you're Mal, because you literally saved JTJ just for him to spike you into the <laughs> into the depth. <laughs> It was all the setup from JTJ, understanding how that back throw works. Even if you're not going to kill, that back throw puts your opponent off the stage. Always worth going for. Unless you're Wolf. Maybe that down throw has a, is a better option. Or but anyways, back to the match here. Gets the grab on the landing here. Once again, like I said, back throw is super important. Especially for Pauly. Oh yeah. You let him get all the stage back just so he can get these projectiles set up. And yeah, this is a really good lead right now for JJ, but let me just run right in your face and get this. <laughs> was that the up smash? I think I it was. No, man. This man just yeah, went no. up to a goddess and punched her. That's all I know. <laughs> he actually just punched her <laughs> in the chin. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's such a good setup, like, to block, smack them off the platform and then they can't tech in time. Get some really good jab blocks like that. Oh. Now you gotta be careful with how you use uh, your explosive flame and uh, auto reticle because they can, if they catch you in the lag of it, they can just run up to you and hit you for free. Yeah, which Mal definitely demonstrated here. Auto reticle here to kind of keep this Ken away. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's okay to cap a Ken, buddy. Ooh, wow. that combo was so good. Using the Nair to just push him to the corner and then get that easy tech chase, sure you can. Great stuff, great stuff from Mal. Brought it all the way back, man. Yeah, two. Oh, I was telling you, man. It's okay to camp Ken, man. If you fight Luigi or Ken, it's okay to camp them. We saw JTJ demonstrate that with a little bit of auto radical here, but once Mal finally gets past the auto radical, man, it's just curtains. Man is not afraid to punch a goddess here. He said, run it back here. Go back to the same stage. Separate yeah, and that was almost a super huge comeback from JTJ after getting the spike, but Mal said, Nah, no, don't sleep on me just yet. You know, I'm never out of this this set. I can always bring it back. Yeah, man, it's not over until I drop the controller here. Set point for Mal. See if JTJ can put himself on the board. Excellent space back there, though. You can see how hard it is to punish that. I don't know what it is. Whenever Ryu and Kim get a parry, it's just like... So satisfying. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's that it's that Street Fighter three flash, man, because you know where that parry comes from. Yeah. I'm waiting for Mao to like parry both hits of uh, Palunair. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, we'll see if he gets the chance here, because he finally closes the gap here and he gets a quick little combo to push JTJ off the stage. Reads the landing. Good. Oh, nice. There. Yeah, I like that. Just like push him, his uh, just pretty much just push him with his body into the corner and get the grab. Yeah, he just instills fear into JTJ's soul. Off the stage here, wants that low recovery here. Holy oh, he can but he can't push it all the way through. Okay, he's in the back here, not able to apply that much pressure though. JTJ needs to get something sorry, <laughs> and there it is that just. I think that's like the strong up tilt. I, yeah, I don't think that's up tilt, strong up tilt for sure. Yeah, that animation just looks really funny. Ooh, chases him on the platform. Easy backer from Mal. Uh, oh, once again, the car kept car not working out in his favor. Going to get right into Palutena's living arms, but no hard punish here. Thirty-four percent. Oh, look at that shield! Watch out! Oh, parries oh. from parries. Nice up smash. Nice. Able to land here to get the grab. Okay. Doesn't get oh, it. too early. Unfortunate for uh for JTJ. JTJ is oh, so I didn't know you could, could cancel the Hodoken too. Nice. Yeah. I thought you could only do the Tatsu since that's the only one I could do. No tech. But, yeah, no tech, but still in a terrible spot. The worst DI you could have done. That's it's really bad for JTJ. It's so hard to DI that too just because you're getting grabbed oh. by the first two hits. Dude, he was waiting for that air dodge so hard. Like, he was going to down air him for all he was worth. And now, Mal working on a potential three stock here. Oh, this is, yeah. Oh. This is this is Mal's game, man. This is literally oh. working like a three stock. He's just swinging everything. He, he knows, knows. Jason is scared in this part. 
All right. He wants the trifecta, man. He wants the three stock. He wants the oh. He finds it with the call out from the jump off the ledge. Get out of here. That super hard call out from, from Mao. Closing it out with the three stock 3 0.